walkthrough video of Woodbury Street, 3251 Woodbury. We are located in Ashley Oaks. Ashley Oaks is a really nice subdivision just off Lockwood Ridge, just north of Clark. So this is north of Gulfcate, but really close to where Clark becomes Stickney Point and then over to Siesta Key. This little subdivision is tucked in here, consists of 27 homes, all built between 1996 and 1999. This one was built in 1998 and is in immaculate condition, I have to say. It is a three bedroom, two bath with a two car garage. It's listed by Better Homes and Gardens, Alan Ashley, and this, everything looks really nice. The, the um, the landscaping is absolutely perfect. Um, the paint, it, it couldn't be any cuter. So the home is in pristine condition. And so I walk in the door and there's actually kind of a cathedral-like ceiling in here, which is uh, a 12 foot ceiling in the entranceway. There's a little breakfast nook off the kitchen. Um, and I do like the chair rail all the way around, which is nicely done. The paint looks great. Everything looks perfect in this. Um, in the home. The window treatments. The windows are vintage 1998 and they are original but they are in very good condition. The kitchen has been updated with a uh, real beautiful granite. Um, this is a level three granite. It's It's got some really nice lines in it and it's a big kitchen, a very functional kitchen with all new appliances. These are Frigidaire, uh, the, the gallery uh, edition and they're all matching. They come with warranty. Um, lots of storage in here, so you have a pantry, a little pantry area, and then lots of cabinetry all the way around. The thing I like specifically about this property in Ashley Oaks is where it's located. Ashley Oaks is kind of a little um, dead end. Um, most of the homes are pretty tight in here, but this one backs up on green space. So I just want to point out that the doors are pocket doors, meaning they open all the way. So this really becomes part of the living space. Um, and this can never be built on. This is actually, um, that's that green space is, I, I, I'm not sure what the designation is of it, but I've been told that it can't be built on. So I like that the privacy fence ends right there and we are looking at nice green space right out here. So it's really quiet and really private here. Um, so in here, there is, uh, this is the lanai, which is screened and, um, you know, it has an outdoor carpet and it's, when the weather's nice like this, we can have the doors open and it really becomes part of the living space. So the living room has carpet. There's tile in the kitchen and in the entranceway. This is the original carpet. The carpet is in very good condition. It's been very well maintained and is great condition, but it is carpet and it is beginning to show some signs of wear. This is the master bedroom and the master bedroom, this is a king size bed. Um, it's a big room, two windows in here, and of course a walkway out to the, to the patio. Um, the bathroom has a his and her sink, all original stuff. This has not been updated with the cultured marble top. Um, original tile in the shower. The shower door looks like it has been updated. That's actually, um, it looks like a newer shower, but everything is, is like the day it was built. Um, so the bathroom is very nice here. The master has a walk-in closet here, which is actually kind of walks back here, which is, which is nice. It's, it's larger than it would appear. Um, so it's a really good size uh, master closet there. So the other two bedrooms are, are basically back to back right here. Um, this one is currently being used as a TV room, but it has a closet. Um, again, large window and a good size closet that goes back there. Room is probably 11 by 12. Has a little uh, storage, you know, coat, coat closet here. So there's a lot of closets and a lot of storage, which is really nice. Um, I do like the cathedral ceilings in here. Really makes it seem open and airy. And um, yeah, it's the bar, the bar right here is great for dining in. The other bedroom is located right here. And this also has its own closet and a window about the same size. And this is 
This is a full-size bed and fits nicely in this room. The guest bathroom, again, is the original vanity countertop with a cultured marble top. Same tile. Um, it's different than the other room, but it looks like the day it was just put in. And this also has a linen closet in here. The washer and dryer do convey. They are um, Maytag. Looks to be a front loader on the on the on the dryer, on the washer, on the dryer. So, um, out in the garage, we have two cars. We have two large cars in here. Does fit. Um, it is a little tight in here with the garage. We have, this is the original air conditioner. However, the owner is an HVAC technician and has replaced both the air conditioning coils in that, as well as the compressor in the, in the outside unit. Uh, garage door opener, nice garage door, all original. Um, the washer, the hot water heater is located over there. That was replaced in 2013. Obviously, they've moved a lot of stuff out of the main house to make it look great, and they've done a great job at that. The garage is a little cramped in here. There is an exit door over there, um, but it's a solid two-car garage. And then having the washer and dryer in a separate location is great. So that's about it. The house looks to be in really good condition. Um, I have to say its location is superior to basically anything else in Ashley Oaks. I like Ashley Oaks in general. Um, there have been a couple sales in here, but this house is in very good condition with the upgrades in terms of the bath, um, in terms of the kitchen here, the appliances, and it just, I mean, it's really move in ready. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000, and thanks for watching.